vent jumps, the jumps are aeronautically limited, and in this video clip we're going to show you how to repair the damaged trailing edge of a wooden aircraft propeller. I'm also going to show you how to reinforce that repair with the fiberglass. The trailing edge of a wooden aircraft propeller is probably the most fragile part. This prop has obviously been a victim of hangar rash. It will be repaired by cutting off a piece of the trailing edge and splicing in new wood. A steel straight edge and a utility knife will be used to remove the damaged wood. In this picture you can see that the wood has already been scored. Notice that he made a very straight and clean cut. But the cut with the knife is not straight enough and clean enough. It has to be cleaned up with a hand plane. You might want to make your edge straight by sanding it, but that's not a good idea because the sanding dust will clog the pores of the wood, producing a weak joint. After you've planed the trailing edge of your propeller, it should look like this. After you've prepared the trailing edge of the prop, you'll want to prepare your piece of wood to splice in place. Once again, the best choice is a hand plane. In this photo, we can see the new piece of wood that will replace the damaged piece of wood. Now you're ready to mix some epoxy to make your glue joint. This epoxy uses a ratio of 5 to 1 by weight, so it'll be 20 grams of resin to 4 grams of hardener. Make sure that you have a uniform color throughout the entire batch. Stir your epoxy for at least a minute. Now we're going to add some fumed silica. This will make the epoxy a little bit stronger, but it will also make it thicker and easier to work with. Now we've got something that's more like a, what you'd expect the glue to be like. This is more of a cake frosting type consistency. Yeah. Apply your epoxy both to the trailing edge of the prop and to the piece of wood that you're going to splice in place. Make it look nice and neat if you can. After you've applied the epoxy to both sides, tape it up like this and then set it aside to dry for a day. When you come back, you can cut the excess wood off the tip with a saw and remove the tape. Now the wood is ready for shaping to the final prop shape and once again the tool of choice is a hand plane. Be careful not to remove too much wood. One good way to get the shape right is to hold the old piece of wood in place to see how it looks. You can use the hand plane to shape the flat edge of the prop and the sharp trailing edge. After you've finished with the hand plane, you still may have some shaping left to do. So remember to start with sharp, new, 120 grit sandpaper. Fiberglassing over the tips is an optional step. At this point, we could simply refinish and be done. However, the fiberglass will make a tougher, more durable repair. When you cut the fiberglass out, cut it so it begins at the back of the toughened epoxy leading edge. You don't want to wrap the fiberglass around the leading edge because rain damage could cause problems later on. If you put fiberglass on one tip, you will need to put it on the other tip for balance reasons. So cut out four pieces of fiberglass that will fit the area that you're going to repair and set them aside. Next, paint a layer of mixed epoxy on the prop tip and lay your fiberglass down as shown. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out and when you're done with this repeat this same procedure on the other side of the prop and then again on the other end of the prop. When you're done with this step set the prop aside and let it dry for a day. When you come back the next day trim off the excess fiberglass first with a utility knife done very carefully and also with a piece of new sandpaper on a sanding block. Sand your tip repairs beginning with 120 grit sandpaper and working up to 400 grit sandpaper in preparation for paint. For more advice on how to finish your prop in preparation for painting, see our separate video on prop finishing.